A recent study lists South Dakota as having the highest rate of depression among the state's LGBTQ plus community. The HELP Advisor study says nearly 90% of those who identify as LGBTQ plus report feeling depressed at least once a week. Governor Kristi Noem was asked about this statistic during yesterday's news conference in Pierre. I don't know. That makes me sad and we should figure it out. Earlier this month, the governor signed the first anti-transgender bill into law for 2022. Now, Kelloland's Lauren Solick spoke with a counselor and an advocate about that high rate of depression and the role of politics and it can play. The LGBTQ plus community is close to Amy Rambo's heart. As a mother of a transgender child and leader of Watertown Love, she's used to advocating for equal rights. Every year that we prepare for a legislative session and we know that it's coming. Um, so when you have that expectation of a new year, you know that every year it's going to be speaking out, it's going to be fighting, it's going to be going you know, um, and testifying. With legislation that could impact the trans community year after year in South Dakota, she's not surprised by the study's results. I also see my child Alex, you know, recoil and pull back because they know this is coming and I always want them to know exactly what's going on, what the bills are, what it would mean for them. Kimberly Kaiser, a counselor in Sioux Falls, isn't surprised either. They see these things that are written that are false and they will have depressive episodes, they'll have triggering, they'll have, if they have a history of PTSD or trauma around uh, their um, gender identity or sexual orientation because they were bullied or you know traumatized in some way. Kaiser says depression can stem from experiencing things like misinformation, religious shame, or microaggressions. The first thing is that you have to build your own family and your own community. If you're fortunate enough to have a family that supports you, it's like you're miles ahead already. If you don't have that kind of family, it's not hopeless. She says it's important to find support in advocacy groups or professional counseling. In Sioux Falls, Lauren Solick, Kelloland News. The HELP Advisor study also showed that just under 50% of the state's LGBTQ plus community has reported a severe level of depression. To read the full study and find links for help, visit this story on kelloland.com.